Usually I would say welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. But seeing that we're in the Euros season and today commences the Copa America, which Argentina will kick off against Canada. I'm in Canada right now and the game starts in less than an hour. Um, this video is going to be based on South Korea and how he's... Dude, this guy should not... I'm not, I'm not an English supporter, Zine. But I can't help but to acknowledge the fact that if I was an English supporter and I see this guy manage managing England, he doesn't he doesn't bring any confidence. If I was an English fan man or a player for England, I, he doesn't bring up any confidence as a manager. He doesn't have that aura. He doesn't have that uh, what you call it? that demeanor. What you call it? that the demeanor, like the disposition, like this bedroom is the ish. He doesn't have it, and because he doesn't have it, his side is less inclined to be competent in this competition this year. Dude, this is not like this is not England in two thousand twelve. This is not England in two thousand. I wouldn't even say this is not England in 2014. Look at the players they have. Look at the players that has competed last season in Europe. I'm not even going to name names, but we know who we're talking about, who I'm talking about. You have Kobe, well, I must say some names because he's a Manchester United boy. You have Kobe Mine on the bench. Why are you not starting Kobe Mine on? Why are you not? There is no other midfielder in this squad that brings the talent and the the, the 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 stability the balance balance keyword no balance that england needs what's the one what's the one what's the oh, well, of 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 course among other things what is the number one thing england has been lacking ever since the early 2000s that's balance you know the mid feet you had Stokolzy, you have you have you have Gerard, Stevie G, and you have Fra F Super Frank, and and you had uh, uh you have other mid quality midfielders, but those were the the big three, but there was no qual there was no balance in the midfield. Who's going to play sweeper? Who's going to create? Who's going to who, who's going to dictate? See, and that's been killing England in the nineties in the in the two thousands, man. Now them have a midfielder that can balance the midfield because Bellingham is not no is not no number eight. He's not no number eight. He's not no number eight, and you cannot play him in the system that you played him. That you cannot play Bellingham in the system that you played in the two thousand eighteen World Cup where you had Jesse Lingard and Deli Ali as the two attacking mids, and you have the CDM. I don't remember who that was at the time. I think it was uh, Jordan Henderson. I'm not sure. They cannot play that, man. They cannot play that. Benham is not that type of player, man. Not that type of... So the point is this. As a manager, he has no... He shouldn't... He, I don't even know if this guy even know what he's doing. He's like a, a kid in the candy store, man. He doesn't know who to, who to you know, start. And the persons he start. You wonder why is he starting the particular person... Where where's where you have better players on the bench? You know who's going to be laughing at South Southkey right now? Is the players that he left out. Even Raheem Sterling. Sterling's not the same Sterling at all. And let's not act as if Sterling is a has been an average player all his life. He has never been he, he I mean he's never been on Messi's level, nowhere near it, but he's been good in his own right since two thousand fifteen to at least two thousand twenty one. Early 2022. So in his own right, he's been good. But you could have still bring him in the England squad. You could have still bring him in the England squad. He left out Jalen Sancho, and you could say rightly so because of his attitude. He left out Mason Greenwood because he don't want to catch fire and pressure, saying, Oh, you bring a rapist. You bring a, don't bring a convict. You bring a rapist. Don't bring. You didn't want a pressure. Although he did decent, decent, he did good with Getafe given the quality of the Getafe side. So he didn't want, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't want a conflict coming your way. So he left him out. He left out Jordan Henderson. Well, Jordan Henderson is not, is not that good anyway. But the thing is that man, you have a quality bench, man. You have a quality bench and you have quality players 
at your disposal and you're not you're not playing as you should with the squad managers are like resenting south k right now and fans because they're saying look at this bridge who is gareth south k to be managed managing the player that he has in his fold right now again but i'm not going to go down the list and name names but we know what we're talking about man the quality is there but there's no cohesion. The this the question is system. Is the system com is the system competent to lead them to another final? Is me, and I look at it and I'm saying, no nah, man, this manager man, no, nah. no nah, man. You see. I don't, I don't want this video to be long about England, but Eng this is one of the reasons why England has been very poor ever since, hell, even before I was born. I was born in 1996, and you can date my age because I just said the year I was born, but even before 1996, man, hell, it's when I say 96 because I don't think England qualified for the 1998 World Cup. And I don't even think they were in the, in the Euros in ninety six. So, well, they were in the World Cup in 98, that's a lie, because of the Beckham problem. Speaking of that, let me go up to the Beckham problem in 98. Blaine Hood was the manager for England, in 98 for England. And he left out Beckham on the bench. I know this is a bit a date, a date back, but he left Beckham on the bench because of probably the notoriety of the name David Beckham. And probably he didn't suit his system as if he had a system. But I'm going to leave out this brethren, this rising superstar on the bench. You look at Gareth Southgate now, he's leaving Copam on the bench. He's leaving out Bowen, who is on the bench. He's leaving out Kobe Mino on the bench. Kobe Mino is, is supposed to be starting that midfield. He should be starting that midfield, man. Not because, I'm not saying it's because from a, a biased standpoint, or maybe I am, but the fact is... Who, which other midfield, centre midfield in that England squad is better than Kobe Minor? I'm not even talking about age-wise because that will be a big embarrassment. I'm leaving that out for the sake of you guys that want Kobe Minor on the bench. Kobe Minor should not be on the bench. He should be starting in the England squad. <laughs> and see... If this humble pie is not eaten by Southgate, I was about to say eating hog, then he's gonna suffer, and he knows he knows it, you know, he knows it because before the the Euro started, him say, if them not go far or if 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 they don't win it, he knows that this is going to be his last competition. Well, of course it's going to be the last competition because you're not competent as a manager to lead this side, and the players are not confident in 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 how you are as a manager, man. They're just tolerating you, so they go. They're just tolerating you, man. They're seeing you as a manager of convenience. Is me? Oh, I'm going to the Euros, but who, who this manager? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll go, you know, just for the Euros' sake, just represent my country. But for this manager, man, Jesus, peace. He can't even manage a man. He can't even manage a, 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 a Premier League club. So... Yeah, he's not he's not he's not, he's not good as a manager, man. This guy <laughs> this guy is not competent as a manager. With the players they have at this their disposal, man, they should be playing way better. Number one, way better. And number two, they should be scoring goals galore. They have attacking players that score plenty goals last season. Kane scored plenty. Foden score plenty, Saka score a good amount, uh uh Cole Palmer score plenty, who will score plenty, Bellingham score plenty, who will score plenty. Um that's that's big five I can't think about right now, man. But come on, man. And Cobano does need stats to show that he's very good. He should be starting, man. This bridging can control a midfield, man. But he's not starting. And I'm not but again, I'm not I'm not even man, an, an English supporter. But it kills me to see a manager with a good stocked squad like England's and it's not managed and it's not managed by a good manager or by a good coach. 
that sickens me, man. It's like you're at work. I do I do have the best example, but it's like okay, it's like you're this poor kid, Zin. You have never worked. You didn't even work to be in the position that you are, but you 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 were just born in a rich family. And you're given the 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 uh the what what you call now? I I forgot when the, when your parents pass away, and and you take what they have, um you're given that and you don't even know what to do with it, man. You start you start buying this, you start buying that. You you all over the place, man. You don't you're not investing your money. You're not even paying tax return. You don't even know what to do with your money, man. It's because you were not school in the way of how of managing money. Same thing with with this guy. I don't think he, he has a, a managerial, you know, uh, button or what you call it, you know, a manager certificate. And even if he has one, that he's, you know, he's, still, he's still not good as a manager because he's not good as a manager. But yeah, it kills me to see this brethren just waste talent on the bench, man. They, they, they drew today against a side they should have won comfortably. I didn't even watch the game, but... I don't need to be watched in that type of game to know say England should have won that game though. They should have won that game. And they didn't. You know what this go cause? Not to speak it into being, but I have, I have to I have to I have to be vocal on this, but this is one of the reasons why some players want to play for England, bro. They play for them 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 culture country, they, you know, the, 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 the descendants of the actual family. Like one well, Mr. can't get called up, bro, because the right back position is well off. You have Trent, you have Trippier, you have Walker. So he can't get a start. He can't get a start. Is me so I lost my train of thought. Uh, what I was trying to say. So yeah. Um yeah, so play yeah, certain players can't play for them country, man. Um yeah, so I'm looking at it and I'm saying Kobe Mino may defect and play for the country that uh, that uh, that his family is actually I don't know which country that is from Africa or if, if it's in Africa, but he might. Although it may, it's, I know it's not going to happen, but these thoughts can still be entertained though. The, the action may not happen, but the thoughts are entertained. You may not act on them thoughts, but you entertain the thoughts. You see? So with this manager, man, not to go on a rumble, rumble, but it sickens to see. Do South K, South, South K knows that he's hated. He knows that. He knows he's hated by a lot of England fans, man. They have a lot of good players, man, and they should be doing way better. Yeah, this is the second game, but if they're going to get knocked out at the group stage. Do my dude this on the first thing smoking, he's gonna get fired. Cause again, bro, this is not Algeria they're managing, and Algeria is a good side. This is not Serbia they're managing. See, uh, uh South is not managing no Serbia. So if he was getting these decent results, he could have get a leeway like a plus or a a blight, but he's managing England, man. The England that has produced good players. Over the years. I was talking to one person. A couple of days before. And they were, they were giving me. They were talking to me and saying that. You know. One of the reasons why they think England hasn't been way competent. As they should have been in international competition. Is because. You look at that squad. Look at that England squad. Which league is the predominant league they play in. Which league is the predominant league they play in? England. The Premier League. Most of them players play in the Premier League. I think Bellingham doesn't play in the Premier League. Who else doesn't play in the Premier League? A, 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 probably a, a couple of players are one more play. Oh, Harry Kane don't play in the Premier League anymore. So that's two. And most of these players are rival players. They play for rival clubs in the Premier League. And they have, they have locked horns before in the past. So maybe you could say, from an, a player standpoint, say maybe it's not on South K, but the players, and the players are played against each other, so they're supposed to erase history as if nothing happened, 
and just play like we are this jolly side and, and win the Euro League, the Euro League, the Euros. Well, let's use Spain. Spain, dude, <laughs> Real Madrid and, and Barcelona in the prime between 2008 and 2012, man. The rivalry was hot. But they had the emotional intelligence to put their deviances aside and still play well as an international side. So that's no excuse. And, they, and not only did they win it, they win, they not, not only did they win the World Cup, or the Euros in 2008 and 2012, but they played convincingly well. They played they gel as a side very well. So that should not that that has that 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 um that excuse shouldn't be used for England. What you can say is that they do have a good manager, and and Spain does. Back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, they had a good manager, and they played proper football. And there is no rivalry that was hotter than Barca and Real Madrid back in the day. And they got on decently well, at least for the moment, temporarily, until they went back to their clubs after the, the tournament. So this is just based on the manager, man. This is based on Gareth Southgate not having the ideas. And he just he's just out of his depth, man. Way out of his depth. Okay. Um. So yeah, bro. Uh, they have a lot of good players, bro. But the, the manager, man, is doing them injustice, man. The manager is the problem, man. He's the person that put in right there. So he's the only person that is costing England and has cost England since two thousand eighteen. Let's remember this. England was in the in the semifinals of the World Cup in twenty eighteen. They were in front against Croatia in the World Cup in 2018. And they lost the, the semifinals in extra time. In the Euros, they went to the finals and they lost it. They go score first and lost it on uh, penalties against Italy. And Italy go won it. But even still, bro, that's, I wouldn't even say that's based on them playing convincingly well because they didn't play convincingly well. Although they got trash aside 5 nil or something like that in, the, in one of the games in the 2018 World Cup. The point I'm making is that they haven't had the edge even if they went to like the semi-finals and qualify deep in the tournament. They haven't had the edge, the mental stability to see out the victory and win the final. They haven't won... Dude, England haven't won a trophy since what ninety eight? Since when they lost? So about six, in the sixties, man, and that's the World Cup. Yeah, and Italy going against them, and Italy wasn't even a good side in the 2021 20, Euros twenty twenty, which was played in twenty twenty one because of COVID, and them going against England, and England had a better squad. So how that go? How that play? How that work? It doesn't. So anyway, fin fin finishing up this video. I don't want this video to be long. Yeah, South K, bro. It should not be managing England. This should do. He should not even be managing his, any side. He should not be even managing. I don't even think this bridge knows to manage his own money. Let alone manage England. If you're an England supporter, tell me what you tell me your, your feelings about. Man, I was about to say everything up again. Man, me and everything up. Tell me if your true thoughts about Gareth Southgate. I'll be very surprised to to, to know that there is genuine Gareth Southgate supporters out there. I do no. <laughs> this burden is not liked by a lot of England England fans, man. They see what they played in a plain convincing well. Our persons may try to defend guard so they can say, well, England for the longest time have been playing well in tournaments anyway, so don't put that on guard so okay. Like I said, dude, England has a player in their squad that can stabilize midfield. And and I I believe I even believe that if Cobain was playing in the Gerard days, in the Lampard days, in the Scalzi days, and Cobain starts in that midfield with one of them three midfielders. 
they would have stabilized their midfield way better. Play Kobe Mino as a loss. If they play in a three man midfield, or at least a, 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 a double pivot, if they play in a double pivot, play Kobe Mino. I would play Kobe Mino and Steven Gerrard because Steven Gerrard, out of the three players, is the best player that can play deep. He has the work rate and he has the physicality, the aggressiveness, and he can win tackles. Skulls is not a good tackler. Lampard is not a good tackler. They are more creative players and they can play number 10. Steven Gerrard can play number, number 10. But the fact is that out of the three, Steven Gerrard is the more capable midfielder that can play deep. And he would be, accommod and he would be accommodated by Kobe Man if Kobe Man was, was even alive in them days. And also if he was a player back in them days and he started. But right now, man, Trent playing in midfield is not going to is not is not is not is not going to solve the problem. They're, right now, Gareth Southgate is trying to just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. You know, you know, just uh, you know, run up the, the the flag on the flagpole and see who salutes to it. That's not football, man. That's not football. Trent, if Trent is not playing at right back, bench him. Don't accommodate him because he's a good long range passer in the squad. Bench that bridging if you go if you if you're gonna play Walker right back, which I believe is the right choice. So good on you, you played Walker right back. I would even play my centre back because he has recovery pace. And play um uh 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 Trippy at right back. Is me I'm probably play Trent at left back, maybe but as as an inverter, but the fact is this man, don't try they have a lot of players, bro. Good, very good players. Winners in a squad. You have a lot of attacking talent, man. Phil Foden, Saka, Harry Kane, uh, uh, Bellingham, um, um, Cole Palmer. All of these young good players you have. And you're acting as if you don't even know how to, 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 to do for the first step in management, man. If I was the England manager, and I'm not, but if I was, I don't even know who plays it in England. Oh, Pickford is the manager, uh, is the goalkeeper. So I'll put Pickford because there's no other goalkeeper that's better than Pickford, and Pickford is an average goalkeeper. At right back, I would play Walker. At centre back, I would play John Stones because John Stones is the best centre back for them. Along with. Um, You have Harry Maguire and Wills. I'm not picking Harry Maguire. Or am I? I can't remember who plays at centre back for England. So I'll def def by default put Harry Maguire beside. Not because he's a world class or a good defender. And his day is good. And, he's, and again, he's an unpredictable defender. So you don't know how you go get Harry Maguire. But I would default by default put him there because I can't think of any other centre backs that's better than him. And at left back. Luke Shaw is is dude this squad. I would put um oh yeah alright let's put him there because apparently apparently in 2021 let's remember Luke Shaw was the left left uh the best left back in the world. He was called Shaberto Carlos for a reason. Yeah. In two th in the year 2021, apparently he was one of the best left backs on the planet. He played decently. He he had a, he, he he didn't play bad. Luke Shaw, although he had his injuries and his weight problem, but let's not act as if this guy wasn't doing anything in 2021. He did. He did something. So I would start him at left back. In midfield now, Kobe Minor. I'm playing a, a double pivot. I'm playing Kobe Minor, and um. Wait, which other midfield them have? They have Ward Pros. Yeah, man, I'll play Ward Pros, man. And Kobe Minor. Kobe Minor, the engine. And he dictates. And and, and Pros. You know, him the, him the create from deep. Right right wing. I'm putting Saka. Copa Mulkoma. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a... I'm a uh, 
start soccer because soccer has more experience than Cole Palmer in the England squad. Number 10. Shoot, I'm playing. Hold on. At number, this is a funny one, you know, because some Bellingham is going to get left out. If I was England manager, I would have, I would have left out Bellingham and put Foden at number 10. I'm not going to put no Foden on no left. No Foden, not that he cannot play there. But out of the two positions, he's better known as a left, as a, as a center midfielder. is me. And... Actually, I would I would start building them from the bench along with Cole Palmer, and on the left hand side, I would I would bring in Sterling on the left hand side, bro. Yeah, if I I would actually bring up Sterling, not because he's Jamaican and I'm Jamaican this and that, but as a left sided midfield, I would start him, and of course up front, Hurricane. But that's what that's all I wanted to say, man. I'm gonna I'm finish the video right there. So, if you're a supporter, let me know your your true thoughts on Har Harakwe, Gareth Southgate's manager. Let me know your true thoughts and like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, brothers out. Peace.